Hey guys, Savage of Tito here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make origami and more likely paper poppers. It is what most people are nowadays calling them because they. Oh, sorry, because I tend to wake up people. I don't know, so brush it up. So. Hold on, you're gonna need some paper, which I already have, so we're gonna first start off with folding it in half like that. Yeah. Knock it like that. You're gonna take this and unfold it after you unfold it. Oh, there you go. After you unfold it, there's this crease right along here. You're gonna fold it and pull the top to the middle and make sure there's a tiny yeah. I mean my gap is look look very carefully. Do you guys see the gap between the line and the yep, you guys see that right there? Probably don't, but anyway. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna crease it. You're gonna take the top and you're gonna Hold it. Oh, sorry. Put it away. You're gonna hold it right on the exact line. Not the exact crease line that we made earlier. By the first fold. There we go. Focus. It's not like focus. There we go. And then you're gonna want to do that and fold it down one more time. And crease that, okay? And then if you can't, if you want to, you can fold it down one more. You can fold it down both. Alright, sure. You fold it down one more, which will make it a little quieter. But you can do this. And then here he comes the scissors. You don't only need to cut it, but. I like to line it up in the middle and make a little tiny dent, like, like that, okay? See that, guys? Right there, you guys can't see that, but anyway, I do that, and then because I do that, I fold it, and Make sure the ends are like. Oh, that looks like a 3D box. Make sure the ends are lined up right at the end right here. And once those are lined up, you're gonna wanna get the edges on right here. Mm -hmm. I don't recommend scissors and all that, but I mean, dude, it's savage potato. Anything can happen. Um, please subscribe to me. I do lots of like. You guys from that might know me as Leopard Boy One Nine Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I changed my YouTube name. I actually have two channels. Leopard Boy One Nine Nine is for like gaming. But mostly, I'm just gonna do everything on my channel. So very proper and all you gotta do this is the most part everyone gets one. See it looks like a paper airplane you're gonna take the edges right here and fold it down and then squeeze it so it beats there. And you're gonna take these two ends that come right here. This flaps like I'm not really it's just this and then you can fold it and then you fold it and make sure that inside of it should look like that. Okay. And then really all you gotta do is smack it down like this, like really hard. And then the air will start getting trapped in there. Air will start getting trapped in there. And then soon it will pop straight up and it'll end like that. And then all you have to do, really, is be like, oh, it's not as long as normal. Fold it down a little more. And then do that process over and over again. And that's how it sounds. Oops, I'll show you guys how it sounds. That's my 
fit in the way. Something like this. They're really loud. They can. They can actually wake someone up. Surprisingly. Uh, I've. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. So in the morning, I'm gonna try and. Whoa. Surprise! Wake up my surprise! Wake up my brother, and I'll try to not. I'll guys I'll try. Um, you guys should really go check out. Um, I think it is a Pikachu lover. That is it, but just search up King Firefly, and it'll show like Pikachu lover. Or you can search a picture over, but what I do to make I modify mine a lot, I, I cut those on the sides. And whenever I fold it down, but soon it'll rip right there, so that's fine. That's what they, and the next one is just really. Kind of like a ninja star, I should say. Ninja star, paper popper. What's next? So you're gonna fold it so it's like a T kind of. Fold it like this, like windows. And like that. And you're gonna take the middle. Take one of the edges. And fold them down. And then do that with the opposite edge. And take the other thing. Oops. And do it like that. And do it like that. It doesn't have to be perfectly even, it's just like that. And unfold those. I crease them on the back so when I fold them, it'll be easier. I'm gonna fold it. There's two ways you can do it. You can do it this way or that way, but I prefer this way because it's more better. And then you're gonna cre create those lines on the back again, but make sure they're not touching the line. Right there. Oops. You only wanna get one though, okay? So once you do that, you're gonna fold that over and do it on this side. Um, there's that. Oops. And there should be at least either on one side a small gap, one gap. And then I'll fold the middle of those and look what you'll be left with. The same thing as got first. But if you did it this, this way, it will be different. But I prefer this way. So, you're going to want to now fold them in. And the reason we did this was unfold them and fold them back. It's because we, should, we got the creases good. And that's, that's just right. And then... You're gonna, you should, have, you should at least have like about an inch flat side, maybe half inch. And you're gonna fold those straight to the bottom in the middle. So it's look like this. And then do that on the other side. Um, you could go with one side. Um, nope, never mind. You couldn't. Once you make that, you're gonna crease that up, and then you could also, if you wanted to, you could fold it the other direction, like this, which that's what I'm doing. It doesn't have to be really perfect. Because, yeah, and then here's where the scissors come in. I just use a this part, and I just 
got my tongue in the brain and go right there. Like this. Okay. Gotta be very careful on this part. Some people like to fold it this way, so it's all just like that. You have to fold like this. Now, again, carefully take this part that's right here, this little flap, and you're going to fold it up. Now, once you get it at the right angle, you're going to want to flip that up like this, okay? And now, here's the little start of it. Here's, like, the little handle. Oops. And then you're gonna take the inside of this. It's the most tricky part. I hate doing this part, but it's part of it. And then you're gonna fold it like a triangle kind of thing on the sides like this. So it'll meet up right there. Same with this side, meet up. And the middle, you're just gonna try and fold it over like this. And it should end up like this. Now, did I say Ninja Star before? I think I did. This is like a boat, is what I actually meant to say. I'm sorry about that. It's a freaking bow. And then, if you want, you can take these parts right here. But I wouldn't, so. Um, I could run. I might look about the water. But then you set it down like this. And it should float because then the water gets trapped right there. And it just, like, sails. So you guys want to go try it? Let's go. I'll actually use a. Ah! I'll actually use a tumbler bowl instead. I don't know if it's like that much water. It's good for the bottom of this one because there's a, there's two weird. So, there's a, then if it, like water so you your sink but that's why I don't get the soggy too but it, it, it'll dry that. 